Right, today you'll be learning to drive the oil-fired B4D Loco. It's recommended you run the coal-fired tutorial first. B4D number 70 was converted to an oil burner as an experiment in the early 1930s to see if it was more efficient to run from a coal loco. Although the trial was successful, number 70 remained the only oil burner on the line and stayed as an oil burner until the line was abandoned. The main difference between the oil and coal-fired loco is the much smaller fire mass. As with the real oil burner, the absence of a large fire mass means the fireman must attempt to adjust the firing rate to meet steam usage rate. Since the burn rate is controlled by the exhaust rate, if the exhaust rate gets exhaust steam gets too high, the fire mass will drop and even go out. You'll notice on the fireman side of the cab there is an oil regulator control that flow, controls the flow of oil from the tender into the firebox. Like the coal-fired loco, the oil-fired B4D has a built-in auto fireman and can be controlled in the same way. As the stoking, fire stoking rate will need constant adjustment due to no significant fire mass, it's always recommended you use the built-in auto fireman when driving the oil-fired loco. The fire rate dial should be set at level 4 or 5 as you'll be soon be climbing some steep grades. Like the coal loco, the dial being red just controls the fire and the dial being blue controls the water and fire. That'll do, I think. Three country corner or semmering barn. Probably semmering barn, but uh, why am I wheel slipping? The throttle's on. Right. Okay. Throttle isn't on. What are you talking about? So I need to get going, but let's go ahead and get the. Uh, turn that on. Got the safeties going, that's a good start. It ends the all the all the Americans are getting is the logos on the side. The actual stock is totally different. So the actual stock is exactly the same. Exactly the opposite of what I said. Oh, it says Colorado and Central, apparently, on there. The grade's about 1.1% now, but will soon become 3.8%. Speed of about 12 miles per hour is enough to help get through the grade. The reverser can be eased back to about 40% for the moment, and the regulator can stay in the 75 to 80% range. When the grade increases to 3.8%, the train will begin to slow. As it does, increase the regulator to 100%, but increase the reverser only gradually to prefer preserve steam. Try to stay below 60% reverser until your speed is under 10 miles per hour. As a reverser goes over 60 mile per hour, you need may, 60 mile per hour, 60 percent. You may need to use some sand. Do not be concerned if your speed drops into the six to seven miles per hour range, as long as your boiler pressure is above 136 psi. So let's have a look at the uh, at this then. Right, here we go.
point three and point two. It said six to seven miles, six to seven miles per hour is uh, expected, so we're on eight. So we're doing all right so far. That's it. We're speeding up again now. It's costing us some boiler pressure, but we're almost at the top here. Let's pull that cut off back. Right, the grade's now dropped to 2.1%, so you should take the opportunity to build up boiler pressure again for the next steeper section. To do this, reduce the reverse to 40%. The next grade is longer and nearly as steep, so boiler pressure is important. Reaching 12 miles per hour now is adequate, so you may cut back on the regulator at that speed to help with steam generation. As you start the new grade, use sand as necessary. Increase the regulator first and the reverser gradually as speed decreases. Try to keep the steam usage and generation as close as possible. Cheers, Josh. Is it hot in the garage? No, it's fine at the moment. And I've got a um, air fat a fan next to me that I can put on. All the the bridges and things on this route. Wow. Right, cutting the regulator down. Jobra24, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. I'm not quite sure where it got its settings from, because... Uh, can't hold the speed of the setting it was talking about, we're slowing down. Fireman's overdoing it, the ideal fireman is 10. We do actually drop to 1.6, which we're on now, so hopefully... Use that to get the boiler pressure up a bit. Fudge, I've no idea what the total length of this route is. I've, uh, this is the first time I've seen it. It's quite a decent length route, look. You've now reached the next steeper grade, so hopefully I've made up some steam. <laughs> On the flat abortion, you should now start to increase the reverser and regulator. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, we're we're going to be driving on the scenario from here all the way up here through the switchbacks. Right. What exactly is a cab background lacking in? Uh, I've no idea. I'm, I'm actually a little bit concerned that it hasn't switched, to be honest. Hang on a minute. I did take one of those specifically for this. There you go. We're accelerating. I think it's because there are three different, I think I think there are three or four subtly different versions of the Loco. 
And I've only set up two of them, so there'll probably be another one that comes up later on. But um, that's fine. It's easy enough for me to add them with this now. I just click a button and it adds it, points it to the right tab view. So all is good. Oh, we're coming up, we're on a 3.1% grade, boiler pressure is going down, but... I'm sure I set him on blue. I did, why are you not injecting water, Mr. Fireman? pressure even more but following the engine up would certainly hurt it. A little bit of water, I don't want to damage the boiler pressure too much. How are you going to blow up the loco? Running out of water. Running out of water is bad, I'm fine. Oh, we're almost there. Going to run out of boiler pressure at this rate, though. <laughs> I don't know quite what happened there. My regulator suddenly vanished. I don't think much of this fireman. He's, he's, when he's done it, he's overfired the Firemaster 14, which is too much. I need to get water in. It's set on blue, but some reason we're still not getting water put in. For some reason my steam usage rate is high, even is still high. I don't get that. <laughs> put the blower on; that'll help. Does letting the boiler pressure get too high? No, because it's got safeties specifically for that. This is the uh, the safety valves up here. If it goes too low, you just stop like this. One twenty nine won't take us long. Water's doing all right as well, so let's turn that off. And the steam usage rate will come right down, so we should speed up quite nicely. On there we go, one thirty point seven. Oh, this is yeah. This is the tutorial um, gouger. This is the one of the tutorial summer uh, scenarios. It's actually the second one that I've got to change the title. 
I relied on the um, AI fireman foolishly. There we go. Um, Ed, I've actually turned the auto fireman down, making no difference. It's not firing, the door stayed shut. That's better. 140 psi. It's storming up the hill now. We finally reached here. Yeah, we actually reached the top. So we stopped about six inches from the top. <laughs> Uh, you'll be stopping on the main track at Chimney Gulch, where this scenario will end. You should turn off the regulator and apply brakes once you get to the Chimney Gulch side. And that's us. So that's the uh, the tutorial, which I've sort of failed, but never mind. There's still a risk of sparks from an oil-fired engine. I don't think so, because essentially it's it's like bits of coal coming out that actually is the, uh, the main problem, I think. Well done, you've successfully completed this tutorial. Woohoo! I've got 910. Is that my best? No, I got a thousand when I ran it earlier on, so... Nah. <laughs> right, so let's do an actual scenario then and see how badly we get on. I think I'm going to do the firing myself with all 